So now let's move on to differentiation of rational functions. So let's assume that we have two functions. We have two functions, u and v, which are all functions of x. So that we have y equals u over v, where the value of v is not equal to 0. Now the derivative of this function with respect to x is giving us we have dy dx to be equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all divided by v square. So first of all, we are going to hold v and then differentiate u with respect to x minus we hold u and differentiate v with respect to x and then we have that all divided by v square so now let's take an example so given the function y equals sine x divided by x square how do we find the derivative of this function with respect to x so we have dy dx equals now using this equation we have v to be x squared so first of all let's say let u be equal to sine x and then v to be equal to x squared so always we say that u is the numerator and then v is the denominator so we have dy dx equals v in this case x square times du dx so we are going to differentiate so we are going to differentiate sine x with respect to x and that gives cos x minus u which is sine x times dv dx we differentiate x square with respect to x that gives 2x all divided by v square we have v to be x square so x square square now let's simplify this so we are going to have x square cos x minus 2x sine x all divided by x to the power four let's simplify further so x is common to both terms at the numerator so we factor out x so that inside of the bracket we have x cos x minus 2 sine x all divided by x times x to the power 3 so x cancels out x we have dy dx to be equal to x cos x minus 2 sine x all divided by x cube now let's try some more examples so given that y is equal to cos x divided by tan x let's find the derivative of y with respect to x so we are going to let u equals cos x and then v equals tan x we have dy dx to be equal to v the u dx minus u the v dx all divided by v square so v is tan x so we have tan x times du dx we are going to differentiate cos x with respect to x and that is negative sine x minus u which is cos x times dv in the x so we differentiate tan x with respect to x that is 
sec square x so all divided by v square v is tan x so we have tan square x let's simplify further so we multiply tan x by negative sin x so we say that we have negative tan x sin x and then minus cos x sec square x all over tan square x now let's separate this to have two functions so we are going to have negative tan x sin x divided by tan square x minus cos x sec square x divided by tan square x let's simplify further so we have tan x cancelling out one of the tan x as the denominator so that we have negative sin x divided by tan x now we know that tan x is equal to sin x over cos x so that is sin x over cos x so we can multiply negative sin x by the reciprocal of the denominator so that that will be times cos x over sin x so we can have negative sin x times cos x over sin x minus cos x times now sec square x is the same as 1 over cos square x so all this divided by tan square x is the same as sine square x divided by cos square x sine x cancels out sine x we are left with negative cos x minus cos x cancels out one of the cos x here and so we have 1 over cos x divided by sine square x over cos square x so we can just multiply 1 over cos x by the reciprocal of the denominator so we have cos square x divided by sine square x we have negative cos x minus cos x cancels out one of the cos x here so we are left with minus cos x divided by sine square x at this point we can factor out negative cos x so we can have negative cos x into bracket 1 plus 1 over sine square x and that is dy dx now to example 3 we have the function y equals x square plus x minus 2 divided by x cube plus 6 so u is equal to x square plus x minus 2 and then v is equal to x cube plus 6 we have dy dx equals v the u dx minus u times the v the x all divided by v square so that is equal to v is x cubed plus 6 times du dx. We differentiate this function with respect to x. So that is 2x plus 1 minus 
u which is x square plus x minus 2 times dividing the x so that will give 3x square all divided by v square so v is x cube plus 6 so the square of it now let's continue so let's multiply these two binomials so we have x cube times 2x that is 2x to the power 4 x cube times 1 x cube 6 times 2x that is 12x 6 times 1 6 minus x squared times 3x squared that is 3x to the power 4 x times 3x squared 3x to the power 3 negative 2 times 3x squared negative 6x squared all divided by x cubed plus 6 squared so we are going to have 2x power 4 plus x power 3 plus 12x plus 6 minus 3x to the power 4 minus 3x to the power 3 plus 6x squared all divided by x cube plus 6 all square let's simplify further 2x power 4 minus 3x power 4 gives negative x power 4 x cube minus 3x cube that is negative 2x cube we have plus 6x square plus 12x plus 6 all divided by x cube plus 6 all square now to the last example for today's lesson we have the function y equals e to the power x divided by 1 plus x cube so let u equals e to the power x v equals 1 plus x cube so dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u times dv dx all divided by v square so we have v to be 1 plus x cube times du dx derivative of e to the power x with respect to x is still e to the power x minus we have u that is e to the power x times dv in the x that becomes 3x squared all divided by v is 1 plus x cube so all squared let's continue so we can factor out e to the power x inside of the brackets we have 1 plus x cube minus 3x square all divided by 1 plus x cube all square and that is dy dx so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.